Hi everyone, welcome to Python Osmosis, Episode 7, the screencast where you can spend just a few minutes each day learning Python fundamentals, and I do the typing. I'm Ryan Shea, and in this episode we'll be talking about the range function. So range is one of many built-in functions in Python, and it creates an arithmetic progression of numbers. That's just a fancy way of saying it creates a list of numbers. Range 10, as you see, goes from 0 all the way to 9. It creates a list of 10 numbers long. But the range function can be a little bit more fancy than this. You can use range with two numbers, 5, 10, for example. And you notice that it starts at 5 and continues on up until, but not including, 10, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You can also use it to step through in not just steps of one. So for example, range. Let's start at zero, go up to 10 in increments of three. And you see zero, three, six, nine. This can be pretty useful. As we've seen in for loops, it just tends to loop through a list, but if you needed to get the index of a list, for example, range is a really great way to do that. So if I had a list called A, and that contained Mary had a little lamb, and I wanted to loop through this, printing out the number of the index on each line, I can just simply say for i in range length a. So this is saying for each number 0 through well, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, print i, the number, comma, oops, a of i. So remember, to access a particular element of a list, you simply specify the index number. So I'm looping through this range and printing out the number, the index number, and the, the actual list item. So let's take a look. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, Mary had a little lamb. That's all for right now. This screencast is directly inspired by the official Python tutorial by Guido Van Rossum at python.org.